welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Jillian and in today's video I'm going to be doing a spring haul. Now I would say 90% of these items are purchased from Walmart but I did buy a handful of things from TJ Maxx as well. So I thought I might as well just show you guys those items as well. So let's just jump right in to my haul. I'm going to show you guys everything that I purchased from TJ Maxx first just because I only have a few items. So the first thing that I purchased from TJ Maxx is this water bottle. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I'm obsessed with water bottles and I buy way too many of them, but I just love them. And I feel like if I have a pretty water bottle to drink out of, then I'm going to drink more water. So I got this one. I thought it was really pretty. It has a bunch of different like flowers all over it. It is a thermos, so it'll keep my water nice and cold. And this was only $7.99. So I grabbed one of these. They also had another one that I was super tempted to purchase as well. But I decided just to go with one. But knowing myself, I'll probably go back for the other one. But this is the first one I bought. And then it has a straw right here that you can drink out of. And it's just a plastic clear straw. The next two items I bought were two phone cases. So I bought this one phone case. It's by Casemate. And it's like a clear phone case and then it has these really pretty like petals and like gold flakes all over it that was really pretty and this was on clearance for ten dollars and then i also bought this kate spade one this one was 14.99 and it's just a clear case and then it has like gold stripes and then all the way in the bottom it says kate spade i thought that one was really pretty as well so i bought this as well and then the last thing that I bought from TJ Maxx was this shirt. I just thought it was a really pretty shirt and I thought it would go really nice with maybe a pair of white shorts or jean shorts. But it's just this shirt. It is white with like blue and gray stripes. And then it has a little tie knot in the front and it buttons up. And then it also has that little pocket right there. And this was... $12.99 for this shirt. I definitely wanted to look around more, but I didn't have time because I had the kids with me. So I just grabbed this. I didn't even try it on. So I'll have to try it on and see how it looks. Now, everything else is from Walmart. I have three bags full of stuff that I bought from Walmart. Now, this first bag is just full of bras, you guys. I've been needing some new bras and I'm tired of buying them from Victoria's Secret because they're so expensive and half the time I don't end up liking them after wearing them for a while. Other than my bralettes, I really love the bralettes from Victoria's Secret. But I found some bras and they were all on clearance. So they were between like five and seven dollars. So I figured they're cheap. Hopefully they will work out. I did try them all on while I was at Walmart and they all were super comfortable and they fit me really well. So the first bra I bought from Walmart is by Secret Treasures. I bought three of these bras just in a different color. They're kind of like bralettes, I would say. And I tried them on. They were super comfortable. It gave me a support and it wasn't like super tight or anything. So I bought three of them. I bought one in like this cream white color and then I bought one in black. And then I bought one in this really pretty color. It's coming off nude, but it's definitely not nude. It's kind of like a salmon color, but I thought that was a really pretty color. And then I bought these two other bras just because I think this one was only like $5 on clearance. And it's just a gray bra. I thought that was really pretty. And I tried it on, like I said, fits well. And then I bought a black one because you can't have enough bras in black. So. I bought this black one and then it has those pretty little diamonds in the front. So I think these were also $5 as well. So we will see how long those last. Next up in this bag, I have, I think, shirts and just random like beauty stuff. So the first thing I'll show you guys is this. I came across this and at first I literally grabbed like three or four of them. But I decided just to try one out first, see how it works. But they are wine infused deep conditioners. You guys know I love my deep conditioners. So this one is Pinot Grigio. I don't know if you guys can see. And it's by the brand Hask. I've tried a few things by Hask and I like it. This one is supposed to be for shine and smooth. And I think these were like $2.50 each. And they had at least, I would say, six or seven different wine infused um, deep conditioners. So if I end up liking it, I'm definitely going to go back and pick up all the other ones. And then sticking to hair products, I also got this Bye Bye Heat Tool Abuse. Now, I did buy this before, but I ended up giving it away to a friend, so I never really got to try it. So I bought another one for myself, and it's basically just supposed to help your hair if you use a lot of, like, heating tools on it. So I thought that was interesting, so I grabbed that. 
And the last hair product I bought was this, and it's by Found. I've never heard of that um, brand before, but it's an avocado oil. It's all in one heat protecting spray, and it smells so good. So I thought I would try this out as well. I'm always looking for a new heat protectants to put in my hair before I use like any type of heating tool. So I'll try that out soon. And then I just bought some more of my current favorite mascara. It is by CoverGirl and I always get like the blackest they have. So I grabbed another one of that because I'm almost out of the one I currently have. And then I also bought, I think I bought, yeah, I bought some more makeup. And then I already did open this because I wanted to swatch it, but it's by Maybelline. It is their super safe full coverage powdered foundation and i keep on hearing a lot about this that it's supposed to be really good so i decided to try it out myself but they didn't have the shade that would probably match me the best i ended up getting mine in 220 natural beige the two dark colors that were above this probably would have fit me much better but they were completely out of those two and then all the other darker shades were just way too dark so this is definitely way too light for me, but I'm going to try to make it work with like a bronzer or something. So super excited to try it out. I did swatch it on my hand and it feels pretty smooth. So that's another makeup item I bought. And the last beauty product I bought was this Force Field Nail Protector and Hardener. So I feel like the older I get, the more like sensitive and brittle and soft my nails get. So this is supposed to protect and harden your nails. So we will see how that works out. And then I bought two pairs or one pair of earrings and then one necklace. So I bought myself this necklace. Oh, you can't see. Okay. So I bought myself this necklace. I actually bought the same exact necklace for my friend, my YouTube bestie, Chanel Angelina. And I ended up really liking it. So I went back and grabbed myself one. And then I bought these earrings. It comes with six. And I thought that was a really good price. I think it was like $4.88 for this. And yeah, I never wear earrings in my other holes. I have three ear piercings, so I thought I could use this in my other holes. So I bought that set. Now we're gonna move on to shirts. So I live in like basic tees. That's what I mostly wear just because they're super comfortable. So I bought a bunch. So this one, I think two of them are by like just the Walmart brand, which is No Boundaries. And they were only $2.93, you guys. So I got this gray one. I always get it in at least one or two sizes up because I like to tie it and tuck it. So I got it in this gray color. And then I also got it in a white color. Just a solid white tee. And then I got this shirt. This one is from Time and True. And this is like a salmon color. I thought that was really pretty. And I got one of those. And then I also got this crop tee. I usually don't wear crop t-shirts just because I'm not super comfortable with showing off my stomach. But this one is technically a crop tee, but it goes low enough to it where it only shows maybe an inch of my stomach. So I'm okay with that. And it just says no worries with a rainbow. And I don't know why I ended up liking it, but I did. And it ties in the front. If you guys watched my in-store Walmart try-on, you would have seen this shirt. So yeah, if you guys have not watched that video, I will link it down below. But I did try on this shirt um, in that video. Now moving on to my last bag. It's just full of bottoms. So the first thing, again, I tried this on in my Walmart try-on video. And it's just these workout pants. And I really love them. They're so comfortable. And I love the design of it. So that's how it looks in the front. And then that's how it looks in the back. And then down here, right here. It's kind of not mesh, but it kind of has like holes. You guys can't really tell, but I don't know. I just really fell in love with it. I tried it on at the store and I wasn't going to buy it, but I couldn't leave it behind because it's super comfortable. And new workout clothes always make me more motivated to work out. And then I found these jeans and they were originally $22.94, but I got them on clearance for only $11 but they are like capris kind of and then it also has this little rip by the knee it's really hard to show you guys but it also has that rip by the knee and i thought these would be perfect for summer and another pair of pants i got is by lee riders and these were i don't know where the price tag on this this was i believe like 19 i believe and it's just another pair that you can like roll up on the bottom i like to roll up my pants because i'm so tall 
but they're super comfortable and they're super stretchy. I hate pants that are way too tight that don't have a stretch to it and that are like stiff. These definitely have a stretch to it, so I love them. So I grabbed a pair of these. And the last pair of pants I bought were these. And these are kind of like a reddish orange color. I don't know how to really explain it, but I never go for pants with like these type of colors, but I don't know why I was drawn to this one. These are also Capri's Skinny Ankle Mid-Rise. And that these are by Time and True. They were 17, I don't know, you guys can't see, 17.84. And these are super comfortable as well and stretchy, which I really liked. And then all the way in the bottom, it has kind of like that fringe in the bottom. And yeah, I just liked how they looked on me. And I wore it with like a white tee and it looked so cute. So grabbed these pants as well. And that is going to end my spring haul for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I purchased from both Walmart and at TJ Maxx. Definitely stay tuned and subscribe if you have not already because I do plan on doing like a big spring try on video at home. I don't know if I'm going to split it up because I do plan on going to like Marshalls and TJ Maxx and seeing if I can find any good spring clothing. So let me know if you guys would like me to do just one big spring try on haul from all the stores that I end up going to buy clothes or if you guys would like me to split it up and do just like one big try on haul at home of all my Walmart clothing and then another try on haul where I combine like TJ Maxx, Marshalls and maybe like Ross or whatever else I purchase some spring clothes. Just let me know how you guys would like me to split that up and I definitely will because I'm really torn. I don't know if I should just put it into one video or just do one Walmart try on haul and then a TJ Maxx Marshalls try on haul. So just let me know what you guys prefer and I would definitely film those for you guys. As always, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to give the video a thumbs up. Also subscribe if you have not already. I would love to have you join my YouTube family and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching.